Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Good morning. Good morning. I do have the privilege of welcoming you on behalf of Kenneth Siona and the Faithful Central Community Development Corporation and the Forum. I do have the pleasure of giving leadership to both of those organizations as the Chief Operating Officer and General Counsel. And it is my pleasure to be of service. Welcome to the City of Champions and welcome to the former home of the greatest basketball team in the nation, <laughs> the Los Angeles Lakers. Amen. I do want to welcome you, all of the media, all of our event sponsors, all of our volunteers, medical and non-medical, over 500 of you. I want to welcome our community neighbors, all of our elected officials, and a very special welcome to Mr. Stan Brock. We meet on an occasion when the issue of health care has taken the national stage. While our president and members of Congress struggle to bring about health care reform, the evidence of the greatness of this country and the human spirit can be seen here today. A collection of people and businesses have come together to make a difference in the lives of this community. We will witness the largest free medical clinic the remote area medical team has ever done. The Forum is proud to be a part of this accomplishment. The Faithful Central Bible Church acquired the Forum in December 2000. Not to be a church, but to be an arena and to continue the historical legacy of this building, but also to be a tool to extend our hand into this community. This event epitomizes that mission. So I want to say thank you to the Faithful Central Bible Church team, led by the Reverend Jackie Russell and Karen Lewis, and to the forum, led by our general manager, Tina Suka, to Mr. Brock, this community thanks you for your commitment and sacrifice to bring much needed medical treatment to those in need in our community. Thank you to Mr. Irving Azoff and to Mr. Jerry Moss, who is here today, for their philanthropic yes, who phoned me out of their philanthropic zeal and asked me would we be a part of this occasion. And because of them, we donated this building for this week. And through Faithful Central, we have recruited over 500 volunteers. <laughs> to our Mayor Dorn, thank you for your partnership. To all of our Inglewood elected officials, thank you. And certainly to the Honorable Maxine Waters for her undying presence and commitment to this community. Now, let's continue to serve a cause greater than ourselves. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Um, before I make a few comments, uh, I want to make sure that we thank at least a large number of the people that have made this possible here uh, this week in, in Los Angeles. And um, first of all, uh, the reason that we came to Los Angeles uh, is because um, Anne and Jerry Moss uh, invited us here. had a tradition at Remote Area Medical in the 25 years since I founded the organization that we only go to places where 
we are invited, and it was Jerry and Anne who invited us to come here. And uh, fortunately, uh, another colleague from 40 years ago, uh, Mr. Don Manelli, happened to be a resident of Los Angeles. And so after getting the call from uh, Jerry, uh, I got in touch with Don, and Don has been putting in those 80-hour weeks or 100-hour weeks uh, for many, many months now uh, to make this uh, possible. And then, of course, uh, Jerry brought in Mark Little and the faithful uh, Central Church folks. And Stadium. But there have been many, many other people that have helped to make this possible, of which we, uh, and myself in particular, are a very, very small part. Uh, Pamela Hearn of the uh, Catholic uh, Healthcare Association, who I had the pleasure of meeting in New Orleans uh, several months ago, when she heard we were coming to Los Angeles, she said, hey, that's my turf, and we're going to pitch in. And so thank you very much indeed to, uh, uh, to Pamela, and I think I saw her at the back there somewhere. And um, uh, Supervisor Mark Ridley-Thomas and his staff. And Sylvia Drew Ivey, the Chief of Staff, and uh, the Los Angeles County uh, Department of Health Services. They have been really very, very helpful from the get-go. And Deborah Boudreau, and everyone at the Su Chi Foundation. Now let me. After Katrina, we were asked to return to uh, uh, New Orleans a year after the Katrina operation uh, to provide uh, care there for the citizens. And the only place we could find to do it, believe it or not, was at the Los it was at the New Orleans Zoo. So we set up something like a hundred dental chairs right next to the giraffe uh, pen. Um, and who was there to help us? But along came the Su Chi Foundation. Uh, and uh, they've been with us on several occasions since then. And uh, always fantastic working with the Su Chi Foundation. Uh, LA Care Health Plan have been very, very supportive and helpful. We're delighted uh, with the support that we've received from them. And the Los Angeles uh, Dental Society and many other surrounding dental societies have really pitched in uh, to come up with the uh, dental personnel that is so essential for one of these events to be successful. Uh, the US, uh, USC uh, School of Dentistry and uh, Dr. Joe uh, Sanchez. Uh, Dr. Natalie Nevins, Downey Regional Medical Center and Amrit Devar World Health Corporation. Uh, they're all here making this event possible. The Providence Health and Services and We Connect are also here. And uh, First, Lady of, First Lady of California, uh, Maria Shriver, who I'm sure would like to have been here today, but uh, with uh, some rather pressing family uh, issues that I'm sure you've heard about, and we certainly wish uh, that well. Uh, but we connect her here, and uh, Maria Shriver has lent her uh, endorsement to this operation. And the Dewey Square group, who've been working behind the scenes and uh, making a lot of things come together here. And GE Healthcare. A lot of people here working behind the scenes. But what it takes, it takes volunteers. People like you. Sorry. Very clumsy old man. Uh, people like you to turn out in such numbers.